I foresee us being closed up until the end of next week. Um, it depends on how this breaks. The Genesee County Animal Control Center has been dealing with an infectious disease outbreak in animals. It's closed operations to the public for three days now. More than a dozen dogs are being treated right now for distemper and parvovirus, as well as kennel cough. Some cats have upper respiratory infections. Our Alyssa Irwin reports new at five. This is the second time in less than a year that the center has been shut down. Alyssa. Matt Angie, the last time the center was closed was October 2023 for the same animal virus. Genesee County Animal Control Center Director Jay Parker tells me it's an issue many shelters deal with as they take in animals from the street, many of which are not vaccinated. We've seen an uptake in uh, the amount of animals coming in. Some of these animals are brought in that are presented that are sick. Animals normally go through a five day quarantine and when not presenting any symptoms, they are then in the mix with other animals. What's been happening is they break with parvo or something and then we end up having to shut the shelter down. Parker says all infected animals are being treated. We have some couple of pretty sick dogs, but you know, we think they will pull through. Um, again, you know, that can change quickly. When they initially bring animals into the center, they are all given their vaccinations to try and keep these issues from happening. So it's very important that people get their dogs vaccinated for these diseases. Parker adds operations are still running. The center is doing emergency calls for injured or vicious animals, but are not allowing people to bring strays in. For people, if they find strays, to search their neighborhoods first before they bring them in here. Parker says depending on how the next week goes, the quarantine period could be extended. But right now there are foster animals which are not in the center that continue to be up for adoption. Here in the studio, Alyssa Irwin with ABC 12 News.